Hello and welcome. I'm starting a new series on the Ed Mega 328 microcontroller. So let's get started. Introduction. Now the Ed Mega 328 microcontroller, as shown here, is the heart. Is at the heart of a very popular microcontroller board that is the Arduino Uno. Now, before I go any further, let me just do a quick recap. What is a microcontroller? Now, the microcontroller basically consists of an entire microprocessor system. What that means is there would be a CPU with ROM, RAM, some general purpose input output ports, a serial port, and timer uh, devices. And all these components are uh, interconnected by three buses, the address bus, data bus, and control bus. So the entire microprocessor system can be contained in one single device. Now that would give us the microcontroller. The Ed Mega 328 microcontroller is based on the Harvard architecture. What that means is there will be the CPU and the data and program code are kept in two separate memory. So one uh, data will be kept in the data memory. The code of the program is kept in the program memory. Now, Therefore, there will be two independent uh, data paths uh, to the CPU. Uh, the benefit from this is that the CPU can access instructions and read or write data at the same time. And this can improve the system speed. Okay, so let's now take a look at the Ed Mega 328 micro microcontroller memory. Here is the block diagram of the Ed Mega 328 microcontroller. I've taken this diagram off from the data sheet, and uh, I just in this particular part here, I like to highlight the memory as mentioned earlier. So. Uh, first off is the 32k bytes available uh, as on-chip reprogrammable flash memory and the, the purpose of this flash memory actually is to store your code or your program. So this would be the program uh, memory as mentioned earlier and here is the SRAM. Uh, there are uh, two k bytes of internal RAM. Uh, again, here this will represent the data memory as mentioned earlier uh, when I was talking about the Harvard architecture. Also available in the SRAM are 32 uh, general registers, 64 input output registers, and, and 160 extended input output register. And then finally, we have the uh, EEPROM, and this is uh, used for data storage. Now, I'll be uh, going deeper into this in my future videos. So, now, let's take a look, a little bit uh, further look into the uh, data memory. Thing. So, uh, as mentioned earlier, there will be 2K of, uh, of space for internal uh, data, and this is shown here. And the addresses are from um, hexa 0100 to hexa 08FF. So that would be allocated for the uh, data uh, memory. Now, uh, in the data sheet, it shows a one k, about 1K by 8 uh, space. That is actually incorrect. So if you ever look into the uh, data sheet, uh, please be aware that that is an error. It should actually read 2048 by 8 uh, memory space. 
as mentioned earlier a few moments ago also in this space there there is uh, uh, is allocated uh, space for 32 general registers and they are from 0, 0, 0, 0 hexa to 0, 0, 1 f and then 64 input output registers starting at 0, 0, 2, 0, ending with 0, 0, 5 f and further and there are further 160 extra extended input output registers starting at 0, 0, 6, 0, ending at 0, 0, f, f. Now, as mentioned earlier, there are 32 uh, general registers. They are R0 all the way down to R31. Now, all I need you to be aware of uh, at this stage is that there are 32 general registers. Uh, they are 0, R0 to R31. Now, I'll be referring to these registers when I come to uh, programming the uh, 8 mega 328. Okay, so let's take a look at the 8 mega 328 microcontroller I.O. ports. Now, as mentioned earlier, the 8 mega 328 microcontroller contains uh, several I.O. ports. So I'd like to highlight, first of all, port B, which is an 8-bit port, and then port C, which is a 7-bit port, port D, uh, an 8-bit port. Now, question is, where is port A? Now, before we get to port A, let's take a look at this particular block here. Now, this is the ADC, the Analog Digital Converter. Now, what's that got to do with port A? Let's move Extracted from page 251 of the Ed Mega 328P data sheet from Microchip, and it reads the ADC is, uh, which is mentioned earlier, and the ADC is connected to an 8 channel analog multiplexer, which allows 8 single ended voltage inputs constructed from the pins of port A. So um, so we can deduce that port A is actually used by the ADC. Now, beside the general purpose in input output ports mentioned earlier, uh, the 8 mega 328 microcontroller also provides a universal synchronous and asynchronous serial receiver and transmitter, which stands for USAT. Now, this is a serial communication uh, device. And uh, in addition to that, we have the Serial Peripheral Interface, uh, SPI, which allows high-speed synchronous data transfer between the Edmega 328P and the peripheral devices. And then we have the two-wire serial interface, or TWI. Okay, so before we move on, let's take a very quick look at the Edmega 328 pinout. So let's go to pin 14 here. Here we have uh, pin 14, uh, PB0. What that means is this is port B, uh, bit 0. And it also has other functions besides uh, acting as the general purpose input output pin. And uh, the port B is distributed uh, in various parts of the Ed Mega 328. You will find um, PB1 uh, here, PB2, PB3, PB3, PB4, PB5, and then PB6 is here and PB7 is here. So they are distributed uh, in different parts of the uh, Ed Mega 328. Now port C uh bits are here and one of them pb6 sorry pc6 is here and then we have a uh, port d uh distrib bits are distributed here from pin 2 to pin 6 and then we have the uh, supply voltage and ground pins at pin 7 
8 and 22 respectively and then we have pin 21 and pin 20 uh, that is the analog reference uh, voltage and also the analog uh, voltage supply A V C C. Okay, so we'll come to the Edmega 328 uh, microcontroller CPU. So the Edmega 328 uh, has a AVR CPU and this is a 8-bit reduced instruction set computer or uh, risk based CPU. Now the job of the AVR, AVR CPU is to ensure the uh, program or code is executed in a timely manner. Take a very brief uh, look at the inside of the AVR CPU. First off, we have a high performance AR, AVR ALU, which is here. And then there are this 32 bit uh, general purpose register file. Then we have the uh, status uh, register, which contains information about the result of the most recently executed arithmetic instruction. And then we have the program counter and also the instruction register and instruction uh, decoder. And so we'll come to the end of this particular uh, short video. And as I mentioned uh, earlier, this is a, a very short a brief introduction to the Edmega 328. Um, I'll be going into the details of the Edmega 328, for example, how the registers are being used when we uh, go into the programming part. And I'll be also uh, going into the details of the uh, Edmega 328 pinout uh, as we will be interfacing the Edmega 328 to uh, several types of uh, devices like LED switches and so on. So um, details of that will be coming later on in future videos. So for now, uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you the next in the next video. Bye.